Do you remember how I told you in my previous video that I have a huge backlog of puzzles? Guess what has happened today? I've got another huge box of puzzles. I've been expecting this box for a couple of weeks. It came from recent toys and there are plenty of puzzles inside. Ah, bubble wrap. The best part of any box. I have so many of it here that I can probably uh, film two hours or maybe three hours long video. Or maybe you prefer a live stream? I can do that. Um, just let me know in the comments. That's what I've got inside the box. It's a paper bag with Recent Toys logo and puzzles printed on it. And another box. Quite a large one as well. Let's open it. There is a letter. Dear Ivan, we send you puzzles and blah blah blah. Recent Toys. Okay. Let's see what's inside. We have a paper in different colors and a lot of puzzles. That's probably one of the uh, nicest uh, box that I've ever had. Usually I have just a box with puzzles and here it was pretty well packed with beautiful papers and a letter. So let's see what we have here. We have Krasnouhov and Diamond Plus. I think that I solved it on my channel before. There are two other puzzles by Krasnouhov. They're the same. You have to pack the small part into the frame and it seems like there is not enough space to do that. These are quite nice puzzles. These are three new Constantine puzzle boxes. I saw all of them in different puzzle shops and I was interested in trying to solve them. That's probably what I'm going to solve today. I'm going to put them aside. Let's see what else I have here. Another Constantine puzzle. Probably uh, this is the only one that I don't have in my collection, which comes in this beautiful uh, wooden black box with like shredded paper inside. These are symmetry puzzles. I'm not very good at symmetry puzzles, but that's probably going to be interesting uh, to try to solve on my channel. And these two puzzles, I'm very excited about them since they're quite interesting. The first one is Brain String R. And the object here is to mix it. There are four strings inside. Each of them have different color. You have to mix them and then the object is to uh, unmix them so that uh, none of the uh, ropes inside will be twisted with all others. So it is kind of a uh, mix of Rubik cube and rope puzzles. Probably that's going to be one of the most interesting in this box. At least I'm uh, looking forward to solving this puzzle. And the last one is Houdini. The idea is similar to brain string R. First of all, I have to mix all the ropes and then try to put them uh, back so that the Houdini won't be uh, twisted between the ropes. So quite a nice one. Let me know if you have these puzzles in your collection and if so, which of these puzzles do you recommend me to solve first? And if you, even if you don't have these puzzles in your collection, let me know which of them do you want me to uh, solve in my next videos. If you like one of the puzzles you saw in this part of the video, links to them is going to be in a video description so you can buy one for yourself. And now I'll try to solve Constantine puzzle boxes, all three of them. And now let's solve all three puzzle boxes by Constantine. Probably I'm too confident <laughs> and I'm trying to solve three puzzles that are going to be too difficult, but let's see. I'm going to start with the number one. I have a box which looks like a box. And I'm going to start my stopwatch and see. One part was moving. Yep, it's moving again. And there is something looks like a maze. Probably. Yeah, I think that it is similar to the Rex Rosanna Perez puzzle where it was a maze and I had to, but there was another slider here which I had to move in order to solve it. But here I think that I have just to tilt. Yeah, something is moving there. And I can, oh, when I push it inside, it, it looks like there is a spring there. Since the inner part just want to move out. Something is moving there and I have to put it in a correct corridor inside the maze. But that's difficult to do when you don't see anything. 
You have just to feel it and just to listen what is happening. Okay, let's see, maybe this is gonna be the part where the opening of the box is. There are no other parts that can be opened. So that probably I have to remove the whole piece out and that's it. The puzzle will be solved. Oh, maybe the, there are some kind of traps in, the, in this part of the box and the ball will fall inside at, at some point. And then I will be able to remove the... Oh, yep, the box is opened, I think. I don't believe I can remove it all the way. Yeah, I can see there is a ball there and probably I can't remove it all the way out. But this is the opening here. It is big enough to fit something small, maybe a bunch of coins. It is a little bit less uh, size than, than a credit card. Okay, that was quite fun. Now I have to... Oh, that's interesting. The locking part is quite easy. I just have to remove the... Uh, just to move the whole piece in and that's it. But the unlocking is quite a challenge. Why? Why is it a challenge? Probably because of the maze here, since the ball moves just up and down and it is quite difficult to uh, move it into this corridor and this one okay the maze isn't difficult but it is quite difficult to move the ball in a correct way now i have to solve it back oh okay the box is locked now done the first one is puzzle box number one solved Let's move to the second one. I believe that the difficulty level is gonna go up with puzzles. So this one was three stars. This is gonna be four stars and the next one is gonna be five stars. Okay, let's try to solve the second puzzle box. I'm gonna start the stopwatch again. That's easy. <laughs> the whole piece is moving. What else I can see here? There is another piece in the middle. It is moving. This one is moving as well. What else I can move here? It feels like there is a metal pin inside. Since you can hear some kind of a metal noise when this part is moving. Maybe I have just to put it like this or something to let it move to the left all the way. Let's see if there are other parts that I can move. No, there are no other parts that I can move. Only this top part and this middle part. And that's it. Ooh! Okay. And the puzzle is solved. And there is a small piece of paper saying... Well done! But can you open the others? I've been able to open one of them. Now it is two. But... I don't know how I was able to solve this one. So it goes just inside. Now it is locked. Maybe. Oh, okay. It looks like there is a some kind of a pin when the puzzle is facing this side up. You can't move it. But when you move it upside down, you can grab the middle part and easily remove. Okay, so the mechanics inside is quite easy when you know it. So that was the puzzle box number two. And let's move to the third one. I'm gonna open it now. And now let's try to solve the third one. The third one looks at the first glance exactly the same. They all look exactly the same, exactly the same size similar design but the solutions are going to be different so this one has more going on here there are a couple of cutouts here i don't believe i see any moving parts so far but this puzzle is five stars out of five two others were three and four stars and that is not easy i see there is a piece here and it, it looks like it is a spring loaded. The second one isn't. And I have to move them 
Somehow there is another part here. Oh, it moves. It moves just a little bit. But what it gives me, I have no idea. What if I push this inside and try to move this piece? No, don't think anything changed a lot. What else I can do? And that's it. It looks like that's all what I can move. There is a piece here that I can probably remove later. Let's see, it is moving a little bit. Oh, it is moving with, with this part. So at, at this side, it's like a, the whole middle piece goes this way and then it continues with this part. But there is another piece there that blocks it. So probably I can remove it this direction. That means that towards myself now. Okay. But what I have to do with the rest of the parts that are moving, I have no idea. I, I, I don't know what this part does. It looks like a switch, which does something. I have no idea what. I'm wondering about this piece. I can push it, but nothing happens. What do I have to do to open this box? Yeah, this one is going to be the most difficult out of three. I can see that something is moving, but have no idea what to do. And why this piece isn't moving? Oh, there is a metal. Okay, probably you don't see it, but I can see there is a metal pin goes there. Maybe I can do something like this to unlock it. Uh, I don't believe that spinning the box is gonna help me, but I can try it. No, I don't think anything. Oh, but this piece is moving. It is moving out a little bit. Now it is in, but I can move it out just a tiny bit. Maybe if I press this piece, I can do something. Nope, nope. So let's try to imagine what is happening here. So maybe this piece with the metal pin is holding the inner part, the inner compartment. So if I remove the pin, remove the part, I will be able to slide this piece out and probably it will go towards myself and then maybe to the left, have no idea. But I don't know what this piece does. Oh, something just moved inside. I have no idea what was that. Maybe there was the pin. No, it is still there. And what this button does. There is a spring inside, but I don't think I can do something with it. Maybe I can push it a little bit more inside. Yeah, I know that I'm not allowed to use any tools, but I want to grab something and push it a little bit deeper inside. Maybe it's gonna help me. So quite hard to figure out what to do here. I like this spring loaded button, but it feels like my fingers are too big so that I can push hard enough on it. It's supposed to do something. And there are probably a couple of pins inside that I have moved somehow. So this pin is still here. This metal pin is still here. Oh, what was that? How it happened? Okay, that is interesting. This part is moving and probably there was a pin here. Some kind of a metal pin was holding this part, but where it is now? It still feels like my fingers are not big enough to push this button. I think that I have to find something, something like this flash drive. Maybe it's gonna help me to figure out something. Oh, this part is moving now. Okay. Why it is moving now? Probably I had to push this piece. Oh, now it is stuck. Okay, and this part is moving. 
and this button is still moving. Oh, okay, so I think that I found it. Somewhere inside of this piece, there is a uh, cutout for the pin that uh, is in here. Okay, so when all this stuff is done, I have to figure out how to remove this piece. So probably my fingers were too big and that's why I couldn't do anything with the button. Only when I put something inside, it, it allows me to press it. That's kind of a little bit weird since usually I'm not allowed to use any external tools, but this time I had to use one Oh, and now the inner part is moving. <gasps> it is moving. Okay, what's next? What's next? I think that I have to move this piece a little bit more out. Okay, how to do that? I think that I have to push this button again. And now this piece is going to be moving more. No, nope, no, nope, it's not moving. I have to remove it a little bit more since that was the way how I was able to remove it. Okay, this goes here and now, finally. Okay, that is not the pin, that is the part that holds the whole inner piece. And what is happening inside, that is still quite interesting. So this part, it locks the lid with this piece. And another part, this one is locking the lid as well. So I have to move this from the way and also I have to move this out. But also there are a couple of pins there which I don't see and I'm not going to be able to find them. But they are locking both of these parts so that I can't solve the puzzle. Okay, so now I'm going to lock it have to put this piece first, this goes here and now I have to do some magic tricks which are gonna help me to lock both of these buttons, this one and this one. The one on the right is half blocked already, so let's see. I'm gonna push the top button again, now it is stuck. Maybe that is how I can move the pin down to this circle part. Nope. Oh, this one is locked. So probably the pin is now there. Now I just have to unlock this button. Oh, finally. Okay. After a lot of time, these buttons are locked and the puzzle box is locked. Finally, all three puzzle boxes are solved. First two took me about 10 minutes to find solution. Uh, and the difficulty level of first two was uh, three out of five and four out of five. But the third one was the most difficult one. It took me about 30 minutes to find solution. And the difficulty level of the third one is five out of five. It took me so long, partly because of the button on the side of the puzzle box, which you have to push in order to figure out solution. But either my fingers are too big or the cutout is too small. I can't push it deep enough. So at the end I had to use external tools, which is usually not allowed. But in this case, I don't think I've cheated a lot since uh, that was the only way how to push the button uh, far enough so that I can move forward with the solution. So I hope you gonna excuse me for that. Nevertheless, it's a uh, fun puzzle, which has a quite a complicated mechanics inside. And it also looks good, especially if you have all three of them, you're gonna have uh, the whole series of Constantine puzzle boxes by recent toys. So that's it for today. If you like any of the puzzles you saw in this video, links are gonna be in a video description. If you want uh, me to solve some of the puzzles you saw in the uh, first part of the video, let me know in the comments. And that's it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And see you in my next video.